glue traps are among the more effective, inexpensive, and widely used rodent control products, but many homeowners may not know how to set them properly. In this video, we'll go over the common mistakes made when handling these traps and the best practices when using them. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. While some rodent control products like snap traps are more effective when using bait, the opposite is true for glue traps. Common baits like peanut butter contain oils that will compromise the glue and allow pests to escape more easily. In fact, for situations where people or pets get stuck accidentally, we recommend you apply cooking oil to reduce the trap's stickiness. Use pre-scented glue traps to lure and catch rats and mice effectively. Check out the Solutions Pro Glue Board, a smaller trap perfect for mice that can be folded into a box shape, or the Solutions Rat and Mouse Glue Tray, a durable plastic trap that can be set in low-profile locations. Both these traps use a non-toxic glue formulated with a peanut butter-scented adhesive that rats and mice will be attracted to. Rats and mice have a keen sense of smell and are able to detect many odors. Handling glue traps and other rodent control products without gloves can leave behind a human scent that may scare rodents away. To avoid this, be sure to put on nitrile gloves before handling any trap or rodent control product. Set your glue traps properly to ensure rats and mice get caught. Rodents have specific habits and behaviors that need to be considered in order to catch them. To determine the best spots to trap, look for grease marks along walls, fur, rodent droppings, gnaw marks, and rodent burrows. Set the glue trap parallel against a wall close to where you've seen rodent activity. If you're dealing with mice and using the Pro Glue Board, fold it into a box to create a seemingly sheltered area that's more conducive to mice activity. Seeing just one rodent almost always indicates a larger infestation. Rats and mice are cautious creatures that will avoid newer objects in their environment for some time. You'll need plenty of traps to normalize their presence and catch more pests. Within the infested area, set glue traps about 2 to 3 feet apart. Finally, glue traps make useful pest monitors, indicating rising pest activity. However, the adhesive will become ineffective over time, especially if it collects dust or if it's exposed to heat. Check your traps at least once a day for activity. If they've gathered dust or pests, dispose of the traps and replace them. Glue traps are easy to set and useful tools used to get rodent infestations under control but they require proper handling in order to be effective. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop rodents from infesting your property, and we offer fast and free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.